Once upon a time, I made this free social media preset. It pops up on screen, you can change a bunch of settings in the inspector and it had checkboxes here where you could choose what platform you wanted to advertise. A little while later, after I had learned a whole lot more about putting these presets together and about the Fusion page in general and expressions and a whole bunch of other things, I came out with an update. And that is this preset. It looks the same, but in the inspector, instead of those checkboxes, we had a drop down menu. And this expanded the options to eight different social media platforms. And we had increased functionality, like making it work really well on TikTok or other vertical videos. It was really cool. I still like this a lot, but it doesn't really compare to what I want to show you all today because where my first social media preset had five different options you could choose, the second had eight different options for websites you could promote. Today I'm showing off and giving away to all of you this. It's a preset, it looks just like the other ones, but instead of five different options, instead of eight, here in the drop down for preset, you have a hundred different options for different websites, social media companies, a whole sorts of things, even some general options that you can promote. 100. And I need to say right off the bat what this really is. This isn't an update to my current existing social media platforms, even though it is a pretty crazy pump up in what it can do. This is first and foremost a proof of concept. I, I had this idea to do something crazy like this and I was able to put it together and I am putting it out there for all of you to enjoy and to look at and to most importantly maybe learn from. And that's important to note because a lot of these presets you'll never use. I don't think anyone is going to use this preset to advertise their Vine. And while I am excited to get it out there, and I know this will be useful to some people for sure, I'm very excited about what this really proves is possible. This only works because of new functionality that was added in the most recent update to DaVinci Resolve, 17.2. In that update, they rolled out DaVinci Resolve effects bundles. For all fusion effects, transitions, and generators, for all of those, it is by far the easiest way to install any of them. But what is really exciting, what makes this preset possible, is that you can now include source assets in any macro, package them all up, send them to the end consumer, they install them the exact same way, and all of those files instantly connect and it just works. All of these logos I am using are individual PNGs that I bought from this pack of over 100 website logo PNGs. In the first two social media promos I made, you can see we have this Twitter logo, but this is actually just solids that I have created individual masks for to create this logo. These aren't graphics files. It's not like I actually just grabbed this logo from Twitter. I recreated this completely inside Fusion because at the time that was the only way to make sure that whatever end user I sent the single setting file to would have this exact experience that it would show up in this way. But now we have this entirely new option. And while this is exciting, I also have had lots of people ask for a little more behind the scenes look in how I create these presets. So I wanna to touch on that a little bit in this video as well, specifically the, the main functionality that makes this entire thing possible, that makes it possible to have a hundred different presets that you can control on the edit page. I know this will be useful to so many of you, and I also think it'll just be uh, pretty fun to walk through, so stick around. But first, let's talk about how easy this is to install. I've wiped the preset, so we're starting from scratch, and I'm just going to hop into a blank Fusion composition here and pull up my Explorer where I have this 100 socials DRFX. This is the exact file, or probably very, very similar to the exact file that you all will be receiving through the free download link in the description. And all you need to do to install this is make sure you're in the Fusion page so you can drag this DRFX file right into your nodes window here. It'll give you a little pop-up. Do you want to install? You click install. And in the Fusion page, if you come down to templates, edit generators, you will see that 100 socials preset, but currently you do need to restart Resolve to get this on the edit page. So let's do that. Boom, we've restarted, we're on the edit page. Inside my effects library generators, I have 100 social presets. Drop that on the timeline and it works. You can open your inspector, come down to presets and change this to any of the 100 different presets. I don't know what a lot of these are. And like I already said, some of them, 
won't be useful, but they're pretty fun. Mess around with them, see if something is useful to you. And all of these controls are right in the inspector on the edit page. Now, this preset does have a little less functionality than the proper update I have recently pushed. It doesn't have the options to automatically reformat for TikTok, but because of that, this will work in any standard 16 by nine resolution automatically. You won't need to change any settings like you did with that second version. And in the inspector, you have these custom text fields and custom color controls for this colored bar beneath. That's all there is to it. Do you want to advertise your blogger account? Is blogger still a thing? I don't know. If you want to advertise your Instagram or Google Plus, go for it. Medium or MySpace. Sure. <laughs> and if you yourself want to dive in the back end of how I made this preset, all you need to do is have the inspector open, come to generators, you see your title, and you are going to click this icon over here to open it in the Fusion page. And if you scroll out, you'll see the general node tree of how this effect was built. And for some people, this will already be overwhelming, but for a lot of you, you'll also realize something might be missing. There aren't over 100 nodes there, and there need to be well over 100 nodes for all of the source clips and everything else. And that is because we have this little group down here. If I expand my workspace a little bit, we'll bring this group down, crack that open. Here you see what is going on. All of these nodes in the stack here are all of the source PNG files for all of these different options that you can choose as a preset. And the magic that is making all of these work is the simple dissolve node. I have all of these files going through a web of dissolve nodes, so all of these eventually get back to this final dissolve, which goes into the rest of our node tree. So all of our different logos, these PNGs, eventually end up at the same point going into this merge. And from there, it is put in this little rectangle, this box that's animated on. You get these text fields and box coming up as well. And then your effect is complete. Now, for those of you that are interested, I'm going to walk through at a pretty basic level, the actual sort of <laughs> magic that makes this effect work. The specific method I'm using, I picked up from a great video by Simon Stanfield, this great smaller creator in the DaVinci Resolve space. And it's a video that I used in my update to my present. I've used in a couple different ones and I actually had to keep going back to his original video. The method is pretty powerful. I'm gonna walk through it, but a link to his video will be in the description as well. Check it out. Like I showed off, all of these original PNG files are connected to the rest of our node tree through dissolve nodes. So to demonstrate, I'm going to make two background nodes. One will be red, and one will be blue. And then I'm going to create a dissolve node and connect those into the two inputs. And if I preview that dissolve node, I'm previewing it here now on viewer two, let's get rid of that viewer one. You'll see that this slider between foreground and background, this is a smooth fade between the two. So if it's on zero, it's on input one, one, it's on input two. And then coming out of this dissolve node, I'm going to create a custom tool node. Now, I like to do this on a custom tool because it's a tool that's sort of meant for things like these, even though the method we're using could be used on any node. But this keeps things pretty simple. And the first thing I'm actually going to do is click F2 to rename this custom tool to just C1. And I'll click OK. And then I'm going to right click in custom tool, go to edit controls, and that will give us this pop up. Now I'm going to create a new tool. I'm going to call this preset and I'm going to be pretty careful here. I'm going to make sure the type is number. The page is user. Those should be automatic. I'm going to come down in the input control here to multi button control. I'm going to change this default to zero and the range from zero to one. And then in these items over here, I'm going to type in blue click add and then red and click add. And then when I click OK on this custom tool, you'll see that we added a user page over here. And now we have a preset drop down blue and red. And if I change those, nothing will happen right now. But watch this. This is where it gets really exciting. I'm going to come back to dissolve, right click on this background and foreground slider and come down to expression. 
And to just quickly demonstrate the concept, I'm going to type in this expression window, C1. Remember, we changed this custom node to C1. C1 dot preset and capitalization does matter. Remember, we named that new tool preset. And so if I just let that set, it instantly changes to blue, but it does that. I'm going to pin this to demonstrate so it stays up our resolve, but I'm going to pull up my custom tool. It changed to blue because this preset was set to blue. And if we go into the preset, change it to red, it changes to red. Now it does not know what red and blue mean. When we created this tool, remember we set up a range zero to one. So when you use this drop down menu and click blue, that's just the surface level. When you click blue, telling the internal to, okay, use a value of zero. And when you click red, it is telling it, okay, use a value of one. And we are pointing that directly to this dissolve where zero and one are the natural settings that it's looking for. Now, obviously this doesn't perfectly scale to over a hundred presets. On the custom tool in this new social media preset, that range is actually one to a hundred. That entire field of resolve notes has a much more uh, complex expression. Let's pull it up. If I come down here to this entire field, you'll see that here when we have a line and the LinkedIn logo that dissolve, you'll see this is much different. This actually has an if expression to break this down. It is saying it is pointing to the custom node, which is C2 in this case preset. And it is saying, OK, if at this point it has a value of less than 39. Remember, I, I changed that tool to be one to 100 if that value is less than that 39, which is just where these individual PNGs are on that entire scale, make it one, set this to foreground. If it's not, set it to zero. So all of these different dissolve nodes have a different expression here. And it was a little complicated to set up, but I think worth it. I got it wrong in a few places and I had to brute force it and go back, look at the math, figure it out, a bit of work, but I had this idea and I was able to do it. One fusion effect with a hundred different presets to promote all of these different websites, all of the different social media. It's very cool. And it's available to all of you right now. The link in the description will send you to my buy me a coffee page where this is hosted as a pay what you want extra. You can enter zero. That's totally cool. And again, to reiterate, this is uh, cool. I know it will be useful, but I am not putting this out there as the next version of my main social media preset. I would like to revisit that, really beef it up for maybe like a, a full launch, but this was just a fun little side adventure to see if I could do it. And you can, and it's super cool. If you do want to support the channel, a great way to do that is through channel memberships. I have recently enabled those and we've already had some amazing people sign up to be channel members. If you want more info on that or see what perks roll into that, check out the join button below. Thanks. I'll see you next time.